Hello, this is Algebra 1, topic 8-5. We're going to be talking about how to graph uh, special functions ax squared and y equals x squared plus or minus k. We're going to talk about some special form uh, situations which will change uh, the basic parent function of y equals x squared. So first off, let's go ahead and graph y equals x squared. We're going to start off by putting y equals x squared in the calculator. Okay. And we go to our table. We're going to fill in some values. Well, negative 2 is at 4. Negative 1 is at 1. 0 is at 0. 1 is at 1. And 2 is at Four. And now we plot these points, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 4. And so we draw our graph. Now, everything we do, we're going to come back to this graph and have a look at it. So, uh, it's kind of important. But now we're going to go ahead and do this. Go back to your y equals, and in y2 and y3, I want you to put these. So, in y2, we're going to put 2x squared. y3 is 5x squared. And as I graph it, I want you to look and see what happens to our graphs. They're going to graph in order. I can quit, get out of here. I forgot to fix my window. I'm going to zoom six. Watch them again. Okay, so that's x squared. That's 2x squared. That's 5x squared. So I want you to notice what happens each time as a. gets larger, the graph gets narrower. So as A gets larger, the graph gets narrower. As we get a larger number in front of x squared, our graph just gets skinnier and skinnier. So let's actually take a look at what these values do. We're going to go to the table, and we're going to look at these. Well, y2, this was 2x squared. So at negative 2, we are at 8, then 2, then 0, then 2, and then 8. I want you to know how the values all doubled. And that one stayed the same. All right. We look over here. This would be y3. Uh, negative 2 is at 20, 5, 0, 5, and 20. I want you to notice how values are. Uh, five times larger. And again, that one stayed the same. So, when we multiply, as we get larger numbers, our graph gets narrower, and, we're, and we basically here I did times two which was 2, and times 5, which was times 5. Simple enough here as far as what needs to, go, as what needs to happen. Well, now we're going to graph not bigger numbers, but smaller numbers. So we're going to go back to y equals, and we're going to change these. We're going to type it just the way it looks, 1 over 2 um, x squared. 
and 1 over 5 x squared. Uh, notice as we graph, what happens? There's x squared. There's half x squared. There's one-fifth x squared. So, as a gets smaller, the graph gets wider. So, as we get a smaller and smaller number up here in front of the x squared, our graph is just going to get wider and wider. Again, let's go to our table and see how these values changed. So y2, those are the values that we were using for half x. So that would be uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.2, sorry, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, I was looking at the wrong graph. 0.2, sorry, 2, and then 0 0.5, and then 0, and then 0.5, and then 2. I want you to notice how these values are halved, and this one, again, stayed the same. Over here, this is 0.8. 0.2, 0, 0.2, and 0.8. These are factor one fifth. Okay, and again, that point stayed the same. Let's look at another change. Here, we're only going to have x and x squared. So come over here. We're going to clear out y3, and in y2, we're just going to put um, negative x squared. We're going to graph it. That one is x squared. That is negative x squared. So what happened was, just put it over here so you can look at it, the graph was reflected across the x axis. We reflected across the x axis. And so now let's look and see what happens to our values. If we go to the table, y2, those are the values we're looking at. Um, these are negative 4, negative 1, 0, negative 1, and negative 4. All right. And these values are negative of what they were previously. Again, notice 0, 0 does not change. So anytime we put anything in front of the x squared, it doesn't change our vertex. Our vertex stays at 0, 0. The graph just gets narrower if our number gets large, wider if our number gets small, or negative if we put a negative sign in front. Well, let's look at some other changes. So this time, again, we're still comparing x squared, but now we have x squared plus 5 and x squared minus 5. Let's look and see what happens here. If we graph it, well, there's x squared, x squared plus 5, and x squared minus 5. So how does our graph change? It moved up. And down basically all the change that we did. It either moved up or it moved down. If we go to our table. Again, y1 is x squared. We're looking at y2. 
Now we have 9, 6, 5, 6, 9. It went up 5. And notice how this one is changed. Okay? It went up 5. We'll look at y3. Negative 1, negative 4, negative 5, negative 4, negative 1. This one went down 5. Notice it wasn't 0, 0, now it's at 0, negative 5. So, that moved it up or down depending on how we moved it, plus or minus. Well, let's take a look at these graphs down here and see if we can come up with our equations. I'm going to use a pencil and draw x squared on here first. So we have 0, 0, 1, 1, uh, 2, 4. And I know it's going to be 3, 9. So if you'll notice, our graph got wider. We just need to figure out how much wider. Well, let's go ahead and find a point that we actually do cross. We actually intersect at 1, 3. Okay. Sorry, uh, 3, 3. So instead of being 1, 1, it's at 3, 3. And so here, this is just going to be y equals 3. I'm sorry, 1 third x squared because we got wider. And if I put 3, okay, well, 3 squared is 9, and 1 third of 9 is 3. So that gives me 3, 3. Over here, I look at this, and I'm going to go ahead and graph my x squared. And as you can see, we got narrower. That means we're going to have a larger number. When you figure out what that number is, well, it actually touches, not at 1, but here at 2. Because it touches at 2, I know that this is y equals 2x, because my 2x squared, because my number has been doubled. Uh, these are these are kind of hard to figure out. These are a little bit easier. Uh, but I want you to at least know, am I multiplying by a fraction or am I multiplying by a larger number? And then you can just use your calculator to uh, double check. Now here, We have moved down, and moved down by 2. This is y equals x squared minus 2. And now this one is tricky. We've moved up 2, but we've also reflected. So that means this is going to be y equals a negative x squared. The negative is for the reflection, plus 2 we're moving it up. Well, this is just so you can get a basic idea of what changes can happen to the parent function. Uh, we're going to continue on this, uh, moving it left and right in our next unit, our next lesson. Uh, good luck on this assignment. Uh, take your time, refer back to your notes, and have a good day.